Hello, friends. Welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer. Take a sip of life. Lord God, my Creator, be close to me now. My soul yearns for your presence. Psalm 46, 1-11, ESV God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Today's book, Streams in the Desert, is a devotional favorite that I have used periodically for many years. Countless millions of others have gleaned treasures from this collection of prayerful meditations, Christian writings, and God's written promises during the 95 years since its initial publication. I have found this book to be particularly refreshing in seasons of extreme adversity or dryness in my life. One editor notes, We never know where God has hidden his streams. We see a large stone and have no idea that it covers the source of a spring. We see rocky areas and never imagine that they are hiding a fountain. God leads me into hard and difficult places, and it is there I realize I am where eternal streams abide. Day by day, streams in the desert will lead you from life's dry, desolate places to the waters of the river of life and beyond to their very source. I want to read to you a brief excerpt. Does not the word come like a soft shower? assuaging the fury of the flame? Yes, is it not an asbestos armor against which the heat has no power? Let the affliction come, God has chosen me. Poverty, thou mayest stride in at my door, but God is in the house already, and he has chosen me. Sickness, thou mayest intrude, but I have a balsam ready. God has chosen me. Whatever befall me in this veil of tears, I know that he has chosen me. Fear not, Christian, Jesus is with thee. In all thy fiery trials, his presence is both thy comfort and safety. He will never leave one whom he has chosen for his own. Fear not, for I am with thee, is his sure word of promise to his chosen ones in the furnace of affliction. Fear not, dear one, Jesus is with you. The Lord of hosts is with you. God is present with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.